Load the datum example file example data.tdm in order to follow this tutorial. Datum has three smoothing filters to assist with managing signal noise. From the curve fitting menu, you can see them at the top with the label smooth. Smooth with 4353H filter and smooth with Savdisky Gali filter. Unfortunately, Datum has not integrated these three filter options that have evolved over time into a single interactive dialog. You need to try each one manually to find the best result for your needs. We will explore using each of these filters on the channel Noise2 in the channel group Noise Data. Activate the Analysis panel. From the Analysis panel menu, Curve Fitting, choose the filter option Smooth. Drag and drop the Noise2 channel into the channel input area. Make sure the calculation parameters are set to the default values of max smoothing width on one side to 12. Select points to maximum number. Smoothing procedure is smooth over mean value and ensure the result channel does not have the checkbox store result in original channel checked. A plot will be shown in the dialog to give you an idea what impact the filter will have on the data. You can see that the filter is too aggressive. Try changing the max smoothing width on one side option and the other parameters as well to achieve a better smooth channel result. When finished, click the cancel button so that no changes are saved. In the data portal, select the channel group Noise Data and then right click and choose the option Set Default Group. This causes any new channels created by the dialog to be created in the default channel group Noise Data. From the analysis menu Curve Fitting, choose the filter Smooth with 4253H filter. Drag and drop the Noise 2 channel to the channel input control. Notice that this filter is much less aggressive than the smooth filter. The spikes in the signal are filtered to some degree, but it is not clear from the preview if the outcome will be acceptable. Choose the smooth with 4253H twice filter option. Make sure the checkbox store result in original channel is not checked. Click the calculate button observing what happens in the data portal. When finished, click the close button to close the dialog. A new channel has been added by the dialog to the default channel group in the data portal. Let's examine the filtered results more closely by using the view panel. Activate the view panel and choose the file, new option to clear out the worksheet area. Click on the channel noise 2 and then the channel smoothed for 253H and then drag and drop them to the empty view worksheet. Choose the 2D axis system option. Use the band cursor to zoom into the section between 3.908 and 3.910 seconds. Note by toggling the checkbox for the green curve, which is channel smoothed for 253H, you can see the effect of the filter on the signal. You would need to decide if this filtering is good. Note that if you calculate RMS on the filtered channel, you will see that it has changed from 0.128 to 0.120. Let's try the final filter named Smooth with Savitsky Gali filter. Activate the analysis panel. Select the menu option Curve Fitting and then Smooth with Savitsky Gali filter. Drag and drop the Noise 2 filter to the channel input control. Notice that in the preview area, the a message states the preview has been aborted because the channel has many values. As a result, the only way to see the filtering result is to plot it in the view panel. Make sure the defaults are set to smoothing width on one side, to 12, order of the polynomial, to 1, and waiting channel checkbox is unchecked. After confirming that the store result in original channel is unchecked, Click the Calculate button to execute the filtering.
and then the close button to close the dialog. Activate the view panel and then drag and drop the channel filtered signal to the 2D chart. Note that the effect of the Savitsky Gale filter is significantly different than the 4253H filter. Try the Savitsky Gale filter again, but this time change the smoothing width on one side to 3. Plot that result in the view panel as done before. You can see that the Savitsky Gale filter with a value of 3 produces a result that is somewhere between the smoothed 4253H result and the Savitsky Gale filter value 12. Clear out the view sheet by clicking on the View Menu Options File and New, Don't Save. Clear out the data portal by clicking on the Navigator panel and then the Menu Options File and New. Load the example data.tdm file again by choosing File and Recent Files.